Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 Beta 7. This is the Gold Master. This is the final version, and there's a couple ways we can tell that. The first is it's 2.12 gigabytes if you're a developer and or a public beta tester. You'll get the full version, and that usually means that it fully installs the OS. The next thing is, let's take a look at the version number. The build has been shortened to 15D60, and when we have the shortened build numbers like that, we can tell that it's the final version. So the third way we can tell is that there's no feedback app. So all of those things are telling us that this is the gold master, or basically what that means is the final version before it's released to the public. Unless they find a major issue with this, this will be the version released, and if this is the version released, what will happen is you'll have to go into your settings, go to general, scroll to the bottom, and then delete your iOS beta software profile. Once you delete that profile, you reboot, uh, that's it. You won't have to do an update if you're already on beta seven. So you'll just do that and then you'll be on the final version. If this is the final version, I'll let you know if you follow me on Twitter or be subscribed to this channel, I'll keep you updated that way. Now this particular update doesn't add anything new over the previous beta, but basically with iOS 11.2.5 in general, we get security updates, we get AirPlay 2 built in and working more properly, and we also have HomePod readiness. So Siri is more ready for news and podcasts basically with HomePod and the HomePod I wouldn't be ex uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they basically announced pre-orders this coming week or the following week since they've shipped supposedly over a million of them from their supplier to the United States or elsewhere around the world and that's just the first shipment so they're probably shipping more and more and more so we'll probably see that very soon and then we'll see iOS 11.3 beta one, I would imagine. And that will have those battery features that Tim Cook talked about, basically where we can turn off throttling. It should hopefully improve some battery, but uh, turn off throttling on your device. If you have an older device, like a six, six S seven, any of those devices where that's turned on, you'll be able to turn the throttling off and then maybe we'll know more about the battery and have a little bit more information as far as that. And we'll check out the speed test for sure and see what happens. Now I did do a geek bench on this, like I do on all the other ones. And this came in at the expected 10,000 range. So here you can see this one got 10,490 for its multi-core score and 4,245 for the single core. If we take a look at the history on CPU, you'll see here at the top, uh, we've gone up a little bit, not too much on the single core, but we've gone up a hundred points or more on the multi-core. So it's running well. It's nice and fast. I haven't experienced any lag. Now, it hasn't been on my phone more than half a day at this point, but any of the lag, normally this is how I tell if there's some lag with 3D Touch. Uh, everything seems to be working as expected and fast. We won't know battery life for a few days, but that's pretty much it. I'll be sure to keep you updated, so make sure you're subscribed and you're also following me on Twitter if you use Twitter and Facebook. I do all of those, but basically on YouTube, I'll keep you updated within the posts as well. I'll post that what you need to do as far as getting this version. And then I'll do an update if they add anything and that sort of thing later. Let me know your thoughts about it though in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description below like I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, again, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.